Scars Publications started up CCD. This is the proof copy, which means it's not released yet. But this is the proof copy of the 20 year anniversary issue, which is why there's a blue on it and everything. And it's very exciting. I wear my scars like badges. These deep marks sh show through from under my skin like war paint on an Apache chief. Their decorations leave me painted with feathers, the skin of prey. I have a scar over my left knee. I, I fell over, you know, a, a bout of poison ivy I had after climbing a mountainside. The four-inch line slice curves around, almost perfectly defining the muscles in my thigh. I have a scar on my right shin. I slipped on a patch of rocks and cut the lower half of my leg and filled it with gravel and dirt. Joe poured hydrogen peroxide on my leg and wrapped it up in my wounds with paper towels before the cut, so the cuts would be okay because they were so widespread. An hour later, I was on my way home so I could tend to my wounds in greater detail, tend to my wounds in depth. Now all that's left is a two-inch line down the side of my leg, although it wasn't a very deep cut. It looks like it went straight to the bone. I have a circular scar on my left calf. I can ID that one for you. I have a circular scar on my left calf from getting off a motorcycle and sliding my leg over the scalding hot exhaust pipe. It has been several years since I gained that scar, and with each year, I see it fade away just a little, but I can still see it. But the memory is slowly slipping away. My cat scratched me on my wrist once. We had to give her medication. Cats don't like taking pills or having ointment dabbed on or liquid poured over their open wounds. So when giving her pills, you'd have to grab her paws, pull her head back by the nape of her neck, pry her jaws wide open so the pill would just fall back and that she'd be forced to swallow it. But sometimes she'd move too much and the paws would slip out of my grasp. And now, over the bone on my left wrist, a long, thin scar stares at me defiantly. I tell people that if they wake up with bruises and cuts they don't remember, then they must have had fun the night before. <laughs> but each marking, each scar is a story, is a memory, is a way of remembering how you lived. And it is with these scars that I gauge my living. It is with these scars that I feel decorated.